listening to like podcasts and watching movies. But when I'm working on these projects, no, it's, it's silence and it's just meditation. And part of it is me trying to figure out how I am going to go on. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like, so I feel like when I see a quilt, not all the time, but when I do see certain quilts, I feel like I can feel that energy. Do you feel that way about these quilts and about quilts you see that have that same impact? Sometimes they're lost quilts that nobody's like that have been abandoned, you know, that like someone gives you or something. But I don't feel that way about every quilt. There's a lot of quilts I feel like nothing from them. But yep. but these, it's like it it it's it's a the energy is in the quilt. I know that sounds ridiculous, and I'm not a scientist, and I know that's weird. But oh, I no. always feel that. I feel like even a photo of it, that you can feel the energy of the quilt. I am often heard saying that quilt has no soul. Yeah. So I think that we are on the same yeah. <laughs> wavelength on this. Like, and for me, that's what I'm looking for. So when I go to quilt shows, I'm often not as moved by. That's really interesting. That. So I'm just waiting until the one, the one that sparks me, the one that, you know, makes me just want to, um, I'm really definitely the person at the quilt show who's touching the quilts. Um, (laughs) but uh, there are ones where you just want to rip it down and turn it into your your superhero cape. Yeah, exactly. um, That's right. Yeah. That's totally it. I'm, I'm like, not, I'm not a, um, I'm inspired by you. I'm this year I'm doing, um, I'll just tell you what I don't usually tell much about myself, but I mean, I guess I do a little bit about myself, but um, <laughs> this year, cause I, I'm testing out all these things people send me and all this stuff and whatever. But, but in my own personal time that, you know, one to 2 AM time, I'm doing um, a series of LGBT um, quilts um, cause of my kid and her friends um, and trying to understand sort of um, in a transgender quilt and sort of, we're going to try to do word quilts and all kinds of other things. Um, and they're all very different because I feel like once they're all done, however many we get through for the year, then they can all take a quilt. Because I feel like these are kids that they're, you know, 14, 15-year-olds. They have a long road ahead. We all do, but they do. And I want them to have something that they can just, when they're having a good day or when they're having a bad day, they can just wrap themselves in that and know there's someone that loves them out there. So that's my project at the moment, my personal little teeny tiny project of trying to explore like each, like the rainbow, rainbow quilts or transgender colored quilts can be so different in so many different ways. And so yeah. that's my own little thing I'm doing at the moment because I got really bored doing just regular quilts um, exactly. as part of the project. But it makes me, you inspire me because I think we need to get further and deeper um, on this project and maybe have them over to talk about like what it, you know, have them look at your work and have them help them think th- think through how to push the ba- ba- the boundary. Um, we're being too safe with the quilts we're making right now, you know? Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. So, and, and I, you know, I could point you to a lot of um, other cultures, but particularly for um, kids in that age range, yeah. you want to be looking at Social Justice Sewing Academy. Oh, cool. Um, so Sarah Trail, she's 24 now, I uh-huh. think. Um, and you know, it's just amazing to think how, how young she is. Um, she's in the Bay area, San Francisco and, um, started this outreach program where she teaches, um, middle and high school students about social justice. And then the next day they come back and do a fiber arts workshop and they're making these amazing sort of story quilt blocks about Uh their own expression. Oh, um, so in cool. response to some social yeah. issue, and so it's just amazing. Oh wow! I met their website. Are able that, to do. Yeah, I've yeah. seen their website. It's incredible. It's incredible. And we're also trying to talk to the Names Project, the you know the AIDS quilt, because you when you yep. see the quilt, it is not. It's been done in every single way, right? It's some people who are really great at quilting, but others that weren't, and it's just outpouring of right. sorrow. And it's yep. just incredible. This is I will have to interview her. She this stuff looks incredible. I think oh. <laughs> you're incredible. you're gonna love her. <laughs> She's amazing. Yeah, this is so great. All right, so very last question because we're way out of time. We're way way out of time. Is intellectual property? Do you care about it? Do you worry about it? What role does the protection of the quilts under copyright play in mm-hmm. your life? Um, so as an academic, I am absolutely concerned about things like copyright. Um, and I do think about, um, 
property rights, generally speaking. Um, so for me, in terms of protection of the quilts that I make, that's yeah. not something that's on my mind. I'm making artwork. Yeah. And um, I don't know what kind of protections I do have, but I am not um, merchandising anything. So yeah. um, I would be concerned if somebody did start merchandising my stuff without my permission. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I do reflect on what was in some sense done to the women's of G's bend. Yes. Um, right. And yes. they were kind of exploited in the beginning. Yeah. Um, but they have recouped some of those losses in a way, yeah. um, but only in a way. They haven't really seriously changed their socioeconomic level um, yeah. while others have. So, um, so absolutely, this is something that I care about, and it's something I do speak out about yeah. um, every once in a while. <laughs> That's really interesting. We are trying – I don't know if it will happen or not, but we have been trying to – think about doing a conference on G's Bend where the women, the women, I don't know, it's gotten all out of control, but um, mm-hmm. some of the women from G's Bend would come and do a co- thing. There's a play on it. And then we'd have an academic conference connected to it. It's coming from the community. I told them I would help out if they needed it. But if it does go yeah. forward, I would love for you to chat with us more because the, it is complicated story that is getting create because of the attention it's getting. And again, now mm-hmm. with, um, you know, Michelle Obama's dress and all that, it's just, yeah it's told in this like sweet goofy way and it's like no you have to look deeper like this is this is a like (laughs) come on guys like this isn't like really like okay so anyway so that's um my side of the story is to say you know um yeah I don't know yeah and I, I would say that my issues are more about appropriation by white artists who don't give credit to their sources um coming yeah. from african-american quilts of the past and so yeah. uh the cheese band would just be one there are a lot yeah. of examples so well I, if we get it up and running i would really it's we'll see if it's happening they're trying to get funding and it's really um a really cool group of people that are interested in doing it here um, i would love for you to be part right. of it if it fit into your schedule just to talk about your thoughts about this continuity and, and questions of all of this it would be really cool because um That's I think great. it would be really cool all right. Well, you rock. Um, if you have copyright questions or worries, um, I'm not an attorney, but I'm a law professor, so I can teach you lots <laughs> of things. Um, and feel free to reach out to me if there's any issues that arise because your stuff is so, so great. You're so grand. You've made my day. How great. I have to go back to the rest of my world. I can't just stare at your clothes. <laughs> So uh, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you so much. You, you're wonderful. Thank, I hope you have a great day. Uh, you too. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye. So this is Elizabeth Townsend Guard. You've been listening to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. We want to hear from you. Join our army, our quilting army. Go to our Facebook page. Suggest people to be interviewed. Suggest yourself to be interviewed. We are excited to hear from you, but most importantly, I hope you get a chance to quote today.